Okay, we're back in the um, Brazilian forest, and the game actually crashed on me while I was trying to get through this section before. Hopefully, I can make it through here. Oh, a gigantic tree is trying to kill me. I don't know what I could have done to piss off Treebeard like this, but apparently he's wants to kill me. So let's do this thing. Massive attack. And it's dead. Good thing I gave Sten that axe, huh? Chop that son of a bitch down. Werewolves! That some bitch off me, jeez. Yes, how nice. I believe I took a bad shot in that fight. Yeah, think. What was that noise? <laughs> ah, whatever. Please, help, listen, I am not the mindless beast I appear to be. Uh, what happened to you? They... I am cursed, turned into this creature. A curse is... It burns in me. I... Into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in, but I had to return. I had to. You are human. I am. I was once an elf, one of the Danish folk. You crashed to all of my clan. You are a Dalish who has already become a werewolf, then. Yes. It's just... It's just days ago. So... You know what happened to us. I can try to bring you back to the Dalish for help. No. I cannot be healed. Not even by magic. Please. You must listen. My name is Denia. My husband. He is called Asras. Please, you must bring him a message. Oh, the poor woman. She's in such pain. The staff. I will bring it to him. Tell him I love him. Tell him. <laughs> I am dead, and with the gods, I beg you. But you are not dead. I will be. Soon enough. I just want him to be at peace. Oh, babe. Because it's fire in my blood. Please, hand it for me. Hand it quickly. No. You'll die soon enough. Then, I will end it myself. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Well, that had to happen, I guess. Let's take the werewolf pelt. Shabam! Well, it's not the only way that that had to end, but, you know, one way is as good as another. Uh, was this the way I came? Uh, 
I don't think I want to go this way. She had a little bit more patience, I mean. If I kill the head werewolf, shouldn't that cure all the other ones? Just calm the hell down for a bit. We'll figure this thing out. We'll figure it out. Ah, bear. Smokey, all you had to do was back down. Ooh, this looks bad. Ogre! More than one. Shit. <laughs> Kill it, what are you doing? Kill it. Kill another. Frickin' game keeps crashing on me. Happened again. But, you know, here we are. We're moving on. It's working okay right now. Oh, yay. Uh, hi? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit, even. What are the woods coming to? A madman hiding in the forest. Who are you? Questions, questions, always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Will you do the same for you? Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. You want to answer a question? Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? Isn't that a question? Would you know a question if it was asked? I should certainly hope so. No! That is not a question. And if it be an answer, it'd be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be careful, Grey Warden. This is no ordinary man. He is a mage. Driven mad, perhaps, but still powerful. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? Then... Would you like to ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Do you have anything to trade? Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. I want to trade for the book. And what do you have to trade for the book? How about this scarf? Ooh, warm. Warm enough to keep my neck from freezing on a cold night when the mice are biting at the toes. Give me that! There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh yes. What is your name? He, my name is Alfred. Aha. Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. So, you live in this slump? Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? I must stay away from them. They are out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes. All of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. It's time to kill you. <laughs> Not fair. Not fair. This is completely against the rules.
Uh, okay. You just watch your manners. I have only so much blood in this frail body of mine, and I intend to keep it there. He uses illusions to disappear. No doubt it is how he survives in this forest. Who is he? An apostate, perhaps? Huh. You hear that? I intend to keep it there, so no more of your shenanigans. Do you want to ask any other question? Oh, yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? I was born in the town of Highover, far to the east. Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Who are you? Who am I? Why do you want to know? Did they send you? Did they tell you to ask? Who are they? <laughs> Did they tell you to pretend to be an innocent stranger with a head full of fluff and nothing? I'm trickier than I look. <laughs> I survive still, and the trees, they leave me be. <laughs> I've won. They will never find me. Never. I found you. So you did. But I'm watching you. If they sense you, I'll know. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. It's time to kill you. Not fair. Not fair. This is completely against the rules. You just watch your manners. Huh. You hear that? I intend to keep it there. I'll so get no you more. eventually. Not fair. Not fair. This is completely again. Let's try one more time. You just. Huh. You hear that? I intend to keep it there. Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane arts? No, of course not. Oh, well, that's disappointing. But wait, what if you are lying? Ah, you thought to scamper away without suspicion, did you? Well, I'm on to you. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Uh, I don't have anything to ask. Oh, no? Well, you just let me know if you change your mind. What's this now? You again? Why don't you go away? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Too many spirits, that's the problem of this forest. And all the curses and the angry wolfmen who howl enough to drive you to madness. And you yell at them, but they run and hide deep within the center of the forest, and the trees protect them. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. And how do you fool them? Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? Turn the pestering oak into firewood. Get it. Good. You do that. Time to move on. Crazy bastard. Now, where was this tree he wanted me to kill? Hell, I don't know. I've killed a few so far. You know, everything you said was crazy. The pestering tree might be the most sane thing you said, considering there are actually trees out here trying to kill me. Fruit. Death root. This isn't some sort of way through, I don't know what it is. No, down south, that's where I need to go. Yeah. 
shall be done. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out! You're a robber, is what you are. They sent you, didn't they? But I'll show you. They won't get away with this. Enemies approach! Alright, let's kill him. Well, that ended badly. Well, anyway. <laughs> He's dead. So, uh, eh. I shall do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs>